part nine. This is moving away from the December 31st accounting party. Now we're going to be talking about revenues and expenses. So the last eight video segments have just so solely focused on the balance sheet and balance sheet accounts. Now what we're going to do is explore revenues and expenses. So what happens? Well, as a business, we're going to have business uh, happening throughout the year. And not all transactions are recorded on one day of December 31st. And so what we're going to do and what we're going to learn in this next segment is um, how do we record a revenue or when we've performed services and then we, we have costs against those revenues or if we have costs of doing business, how do we go through and record those expenses? Now, what's very important to remember is that revenue and expenses, as well as dividends, and we'll talk about that a little bit later, these are referred to as temporary accounts, meaning that they're going to reflect what we've earned during a period of time. We're still going to use T accounts to do the recording. Uh, revenues and expenses are going to be shown on the income statement, and that net amount is going to be referred, the revenues minus the expenses is going to be referred to our net income. Ultimately, revenues, expenses, and dividends will be ultimately be closed out to retained earnings. So if you go back to that video, which I think is number four, talking about owner's equity, now we're filling that part of it in. Note, balance sheet accounts are permanent accounts. At the end of the year, my cash does not go away. So balance sheet accounts are not closed out to retained earnings. Only our temporary accounts, revenues, expenses, and dividends. So with that being said, let's take a look at some examples of some income statements. So here we have Meta Platforms. Now we looked at the balance sheet for Meta, but now let's look at the income statement. You'll oftentimes find that this is sometimes referred to as consolidated statements of operations, or sometimes over here, consolidated statements of income. But we have over here revenue, right? So for Meta Platforms, how do they make most of their money? It's generally gonna be off of advertising. So, but what are the costs that uh, Meta Platforms incurs? Well, they're gonna have the cost of revenue, uh, research and development, right? They're gonna further uh, build out the metaverse um, over here, marketing and sales. So if they have like marketing their services, sales expenses, uh, general and administrative expenses. So when you look at a income statement for um, a company, it's generally going to be shown as revenues. So over here, you've got revenues, costs and expenses are 71 billion. Um, so my income for my operations is going to be $46 billion. Let's take a look at another company. So here we go. Now we've got Tesla. So Tesla for the year ended December 31st, 2021, they had 44 uh, billion of automotive sales, regulatory credits, automotive leasing. They also have revenues from energy generation and storage services and other so Tesla had a revenue for the year ended December 31st, 2021 of about 53 billion. The cost of those revenues for their auto sales were about 32 billion, automotive leasing, those costs there. So you come down over here and you kind of look at, again, every company is gonna have their income statement is gonna look slightly different because they're gonna have revenues coming in from different sources. Right. So uh, Meta Platforms does not have uh, revenue coming in from energy generation and storage. That's unique to Tesla. But the important thing is when we look at revenues, this is something that we have earned. I've, I've sold the car and therefore I can go through and recognize that revenue. I also see over here with my operating expenses, I'm going to have things over here for Tesla's like research and development. So again, this is the next phase that we're going into, and we're going to be using revenue and expense accounts to reflect what we've earned for a period. Now, I call these temporary accounts because over here, I had revenues of auto sales of $24 billion for the year ended December 31st, 2020. 
these accounts are going to get closed out to retained earnings because we have to start fresh for the next period. So in any event, um, I hope you enjoy this video today, and I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Thank you for liking and subscribing, and I, if you have any other questions or any other videos you'd like to see, please feel free to reach out. Have a great day.